Greetings, loved ones. The law offers the protection of a temporary restraining order to victims of domestic violence, whether or not the abuser has been arrested or prosecuted. The order is free and the victim doesn't need an attorney to get one, although an attorney is recommended if the abuser contests the restraining order. Today we're gonna to talk about protective orders or restraining orders, what they are, how to get them, and how to use them. Help get these messages out. Please subscribe to our channel, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Hit the like button and share these messages with others. This is what this is all about. Getting the information out there into the hands of people who are not suffering abuse so they can recognize it and help those who are. And for those who are to recognize that there is a way out and how to get out of their violent situation. So share these messages because you never know just by doing so you could save a life. In more than 20 years of working with victims of gender violence, one thing I know is that protection orders are extremely important. Those who do not get them risk having their cases go around in circles. For example, in Honduras where we work, if a protection order is in place and the aggressor violates it, more services and protection is available to the victim and their family. The case is on a higher level of severity. But for those who do not obtain a protection order and the aggressor continues the violence, the case remains on a lower level of security, of severity, excuse me, and can go around in circles in the court, endangering the victim and their children. I've seen this happen so many times here. No protective order, he commits, he comes and he's violent against her and you start from, you know, step one over and over again. But if there is a protection order, it raises it to another level. And if he comes and he violates that protection order, then they're able to arrest him and there's a higher level of um, severity um, and protection for the victim. It's really, really important. So my recommendation is that if you must leave a relationship because of violence by your partner, get a protection order or restraining order, whatever they call it where you live. Okay, so let's talk about them. The person, the victim, who requests a temporary restraining order is called the petitioner. The person, the abuser, whom the order restrains is called the respondent. So a restraining order can require the abuser to stop abusing, threatening, or interfering with the victim and with her children in her custody. The protective order can forgive the, uh, forbid, not forgive, forbid the abuser to enter the victim's home, school, place of business, or other specified place. It can say they can co no, they can't come any closer than 200 yards or something like that. The protective order can order the abuser out of the home if the victim is sole or part owner of the home or is on the rental agreement. The order can require the police to stand by while the person leaving the home removes personal belongings. And a protective order can also give the victim temporary legal custody of the children if the children are in her physical custody or if they are not, they can recover the children for her or grant her visitation rights. Once issued, a restraining order is effective for a period of time, depending on where you live, unless the petitioner wants the order ended earlier or wants it renewed. Police are required to enforce a restraining order. A person who violates a restraining order can be arrested, tried for contempt of court, or any crime committed, and if found guilty, can be fined or put in jail. Generally, the fear of arrest makes most abusers respect the order but a restraining order is no guarantee for the safety of the victim. Sometimes it causes the aggressor to become more irate. Each state has different requirements for someone to obtain a restraining order. So here's some guidelines for you, but be sure to check your state to be specific. So who can get a restraining order? Again, these are just guidelines. You need to check with your state to be specific. Uh, she was the victim of abuse within the past six months, or she was the victim of abuse more than six months ago and the abuser has been in prison or jail, or she was the victim of abuse more than six months ago and the abuser has lived more than 100 miles from her in the past six months. Um, and the abuse was bodily injury or attempted bodily injury or the threat of immediate serious bodily injury or sexual abuse or rape. And She's the abuser's wife, girlfriend, ex-girlfriend, or the abuser's in-law or relative, 
or is in a sexually intimate relationship with the abuser or is the biological co-parent with the abuser of a minor child and she's 18 years old or emancipated in legal action if younger than 18 or younger than 18 and married to the abuser who was 18 or older or younger than 18 and sexually intimate with the abuser who was 18 or older there's a lot of details in it so check where you live to find out what the requirements are for a restriction order that should be part of your safety plan. Research that so that you know what you need to have or what you need to do in order to get a restraining order if things get worse. So if you qualify for a restraining order, most likely the court will hold a hearing on the day you file your papers or the next day that the court is open for business. If the judge decides that you have met the legal standard for a restraining order, the judge will issue a restraining order at the time of the hearing. The restraining order is effective legally as soon as the court grants it. However, it can't be effective in a practical sense until the abuser knows it exists. He can't violate an order he has no knowledge of. So a sheriff or another qualified person must serve the respondent, the abuser, with a copy of the order. The judge may change or cancel a restraining order based on information received at the hearing and changes in custody or visitation rights may be requested at any time while the order is in effect. Please note, there are circumstances where it is important that you consider whether a restraining order is the best option. This is specifically true when you are considering moving out of the area and child visitation issues are involved. We recommend that you call your local woman's shelter program and talk to someone regarding your situation. In my experience, I believe the safest thing to do if your partner is violent is assure that there is a protection order in place. With one in three women experience domestic violence worldwide, the question is not if you will encounter a victim of violence. The question before God is what will you do when you do encounter them? You could be the person who saves a life. You are called. We are all called to be champions for justice. Those who suffer violence need to know that those who love them and those who don't even know them will step out and reach out to them to give them the courage to leave before it's too late. Please help us get these messages out. Subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Hit the like button. Share these videos with others. You never know. By doing so, you could save a life. This series is dedicated in honor of Gabby Petito, a bright young woman whom the world has lost because of gender violence and all the other women who have suffered gender violence. So please check out the foundation that Gabby's family has created in honor of her at GabbyPetitoFoundation.org. If you're a victim of violence, listen to me and know this. You are loved, you are valued, you're intelligent, you're beautiful. God does not want you to suffer violence. He wants you to live free from violence and peace and tranquility. And there is a way out. It's not your fault. Abuse is not love. If somebody says they love you and then they abuse you, they're lying to you. If you're a victim of violence, please reach out to someone. And if you're in a dangerous situation, call 911 for help or reach out to somebody. We'll be back tomorrow with more episodes on domestic violence. I don't remember the name of the next one, but... Check it out tomorrow. Until then, God bless you.